This one's fantastic. It's one of the best attended, and there are so many students. It's really great. We as a profession need to seize the opportunity to greatly elevate the practice of structural engineering. And that begins with developing a new breed of structural engineers, more broadly capable than ever before, more communicative, more creative, more collaborative, to act as leaders, global leaders, in moving forward in tackling some of society's grand challenges. assemble a pretty impressive panel of experts that will basically give you a whole lot of tips that will take you very, very far in your life. All the real world people are very helpful. Uh, it's a very, very good experience. I thought it was very useful. Uh, it was nice getting professional input from everybody and I, I got some very useful advice for my career in the future. Very useful, especially the networking one-on-one. -on -one. I was always lacking at that part and I learned a lot of good tips on that and hopefully I put them to use today. You need to get them talking about something that's comfortable for them. So if you're talking to a baby boomer, what are you going to talk about? What about somebody in your generation, the Y generation? There are structural engineering videos out on YouTube. Making yourself stand out and memorable um, and getting to know someone on a personal basis because that's what they're going to remember you on. Just to show some initiative, just to um, to show that you're you're willing to go like above and beyond, uh, and to to show your employer that uh, you're um, you're trying your best and, and um, trying to give some thought to, to what you're doing at work. One of the complaints I hear the most in the office uh, about new hires is um, they just expect everything to be handed to them. So, you know, they just come to me and say, "Well, I'm not too sure how to do this. Can you show me how to do this?" She had good recommendations, stuff that she, she looks at resumes and she knows exactly what she's looking for. So uh, it was great to get her feedback on a lot of the stuff. I'm going to go edit my resume when I get back. Don't waste space on your resume with references. In the networking area or how to get a good resume or how to talk with your future employers. Listen. Listen to what questions you're being asked control your time and think before you speak. You only get one chance to make a first impression. So when you walk into that room, you want to make eye contact, you want to shake hands. Be a good communicator. All right? When you talk, talk with a voice that people can hear you. Talk clearly. Look people in the eye. I'm going to pause and think about what I say. Then I'm going to step up with my big voice and answer. It was a lot of fun. I, I didn't know what to expect. This is the first time we did this, but uh, the students I met were great. They were very engaged, uh, asked a lot of good questions. There were a lot of uh, energetic young students. Uh, I wish them luck. It was good to be able to sit down with uh, the four different groups, uh, hear their questions, offer some tips, and tell them that uh, we are looking for structural engineers. I thought it was very helpful. Um, and especially in like today's market, any way you can get additional information on how to better yourself and make yourself stand out is very beneficial. Today is really a grand opportunity for you to learn about the Structural Engineering Institute and learn from several leaders 
within the organization. I joined and quickly became a chairman. That led to being chairman of the technical administrative committee uh, as well. And so as a young engineer, I quickly became involved in um, what was, what would become the, the SEI eventually. There's a lot of things that are being, uh, you know, that are happening today that really are intended to improve the profession and move, move us all forward. And I think if you're part of that whole process, there is certainly a satisfaction that you will get. I got my start in ASD a couple years out of school. Um, one of the past presidents of the only section, Michael Bitcoin, was our president and asked me to get involved with the newsletter. So I started as assistant editor, became the editor, became chairman of the structural group at one time. Through that, I've been able to, uh, on behalf of ASE and SCI leader, quake reconnaissance teams to the Christchurch earthquakes, and also was part of the team that went to the Chile earthquake. And to me, probably the biggest benefit I get from ASE and SCI is the interaction with senior leaders at firms other than my own. They had all the leaders stand up and and uh, talk about how you know their participation in the SCI has affected their careers, and so it's good to hear their perspective. You do get to hear um, about what people uh, do and how they've gotten to where they are, and uh, you know what helped them climb the ladder. I met other students that are kind of in the same position I am, so it's a great networking to just meet other people that are in the same place I'm at compare notes on where you're going next. Went to the uh, breakfast this morning and I came to the reception this evening so I've met a bunch of students and they seem very energetic and having a good time. ASCE and SEI, they were a great opportunity for you. It's great for networking, for learning about your profession, learning about your industry. And I heartily recommend you to become involved uh, both locally and nationally. We actually had a Sweetwater Organics, it's a vertical farm of aquaponics. Uh, it's a, it a building, about three story, and uh, between the three of us, we had two other team members. Uh, we pretty much designed the whole architectural programming and structural systems of the building. We actually have a combination of a shear and moment frame, or shear wall and moment frame, and then we also do have areas of braced uh, frames as well that aren't in the areas of where the beams would, might uh, be braced. and cause more obstruction. So we did do a little bit of everything with that. Using our survey data and uh, going through all the applicable design codes as far as how far away a structure needs to be from another structure or um, a natural feature such as the, uh, the front of a mountain, we were able to locate the uh, proposed northwest corner of our, of our building without impacting the uh, Big Five mining tunnel easement. The way it worked out, our five girder system, uh, due to the cost of structural steel, ended up being the best system. Uh, we, we have tried varying web thicknesses, heights, and uh, the flange dimensions, and this is what it came out. great young professionals have a vision and an ambition for their own practice which is very lofty they yearn to be able to tackle in the future society's great problems interesting thing about the structures congress is that it brings together so much research and so many different people who are looking at different things and so you get a lot of opportunities to expand your own work and look at different avenues for investigation um, and i really enjoying that. I see people doing things with blast, I see people doing things in concrete, and, and so, stuff I don't usually get to see if I go to a steel specific conference or a concrete specific conference, so 
I like it so I can see all, all sorts of different things going on. That's kind of nice about the structures kind of The reason we decided to do the younger member events was and realizing that for a lot of younger members, it can be very intimidating coming to a conference for the first time, and maybe there's nobody from your firm there, and there's all these older people who seem to know each other, and so we wanted to have some events where younger members could get to meet each other and interact with each other and hopefully develop some networks that are going to carry them through the next 30 years of their career. The focus on the younger members and students this year has improved a lot, and so it's great to see the new generation of structural engineering leaders uh, all here in Chicago. I enjoy attending the Structures Congress uh, every year, uh, participating in several of the uh, technical committee meetings uh, as well as attending the sessions and in particular this year uh, the Young Professionals Mixer. Uh, I think as a young member we have more opportunity as a student member as well to, to interact with uh, some of the networking opportunities that there are. So, and I think it's an opportunity that is, uh, as younger members, we don't always necessarily get. You know, events such as the Younger Member uh, Mixer uh, has helped everybody mix and network a little bit better. I like taking advantage of uh, you know, really getting engaged in all of the latest structural engineering research, all, also the committee meetings, and just and networking, which is a huge advantage here. And, it seems like they've really made an effort to get all of the younger members involved this year and I've really enjoyed it so far. I, I'm absolutely amazed at how many people we have here and everyone seems to be having a great time and mingling and, and it's just amazing. young professionals and students here, I would say, this is your future. Take control of it. Nobody's going to do it for you. Always have a continuous professional development plan in front of you and work towards it. Expect to invest significant amounts of your own time in self-study. Read prodigiously and broadly, not only in areas of your practice, but in broad areas that are going to help you become a better global leader and get involved in your professional societies at an early age.